differences of, differences of opinion, not agreeing with each other. That's what we're talking about today, Ready KT411. Yep, I'm in my truck. No, I'm not driving. Yes, it's 10 o'clock at night almost. I was cutting some wood for my parents because, well, they needed it. Anyway, differences of opinion, not agreeing with one another. Believing something completely contrary to something someone else believes in. Those are the things that make not only this group, but, but our society and our country as a whole awesome. Because we are able to, for the most part, I mean, not much in the past year, couple of years, but for the most part, you know, at least live and let live to some extent. Uh, with the advent of social media and crazy news resources and news sources, uh, you know, one side or the other seems to be louder than uh, at different times, depending on what's going on. But it is those differences of opinion. The fact that I believe different things than some of the folks watching this video, yet we get along, yet we're not at each other's throats, we're not trying to do all kinds of bad things to each other, except the fact that, well, I believe one thing, you believe something else, but we do have some common ground somewhere, and it's it's at that common ground where we meet and, and work together and do great things. You know, you can have wildly different political, religious, personal, whatever views than the person sitting or standing next to you and get along. You can have all of these differences of opinion, the differences in beliefs, the completely different mindset, and still get the job done. So so do myself do me and do yourself a favor. Realize that without these differences of opinions, we're nothing more than lemmings, all following someone right off the edge of a cliff. So enjoy these differences. Learn from them because sometimes Someone who did something that you haven't done can teach you something. Maybe about them, maybe about yourself. And in the end, we're all better for it. That doesn't mean you have to accept their point of view or their belief as your own. You just have to acknowledge it. Hey, that person is different than I am. Not They don't do what I do. They don't like what I like. They don't enjoy what I enjoy. But well, we can work together and we can get the we can get things done. And when you do finally get to that point where you can get along with these people who aren't like you, you'll realize that there is a significant amount of commonality between you and them. Because one thing doesn't make a person. Just because I wear a kilt, that doesn't make me one thing. Doesn't mean anything other than I wear a kilt. So I'm going to head home, get some rest, and, uh, well, you guys should do the same, because it's been a busy day, tomorrow's going to be just as busy, but it's going to be an awesome day, but do yourself a favor, and, and think about all the folks you've talked to over the past day, month, year, whatever, who've had differences of opinion with you, and see if you really reacted the way you feel, or it was just a gut reaction, Oh, because maybe you were on the internet and there's no way that person's going to show up at your door. Think about that for a minute. And maybe, you know, maybe reach out to those people and say, hey, you know, maybe we can work on this together. I know that you believe this and I believe something else, but that doesn't mean we can't work together. So go through all the stuff you've done over the past month, year, whatever, however long. Look at those friends you've lost because you've expressed a difference of opinion. Maybe that bridge can be mended. Maybe some really good things can come of it. Give it a shot. Worst thing could happen is you're exactly where you are today. See everybody tomorrow. Have an awesome night and have an awesome day tomorrow. And be strong. Put a kilt on.